Hey everybody, Scott Sprites here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, June 10th, 2019. Free pick coming up, also a NFL thumbnail sketch over under wins, thoughts on the Minnesota Vikings on this update. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video and get set up for a free $60 account. Think you'll be glad that you did. Again, you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, Click on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account on Monday at DocSports.com. All right, listen, uh, we've got the NFL thumbnail sketch coming up. We've got a free pick for Monday's baseball card all coming up. Uh, recapping Sunday, NASCAR still to go, by the way. We had one matchup, uh, and it's going on Monday. The race, in case you didn't check it out or hear about it, it will start around 2 p.m. Pacific time, uh, the makeup from yesterday's postponement, and uh, that'll be in Michigan, and we are in action obviously over at uh, in that race at Michigan uh, but as far as everything else was concerned I lost in the WNBA unfortunately uh, in Major League Baseball we cashed the weekend we went three and two we picked up a couple of units was this I mean just really ticked off yesterday I don't get emotional over games I've been doing this for 25 years betting handicapping the whole shebang uh, it used to get pretty fired up when we would lose games I, I don't like losing games, obviously. It stinks on ice. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but yesterday really got me going a little bit there because we were that close to a nice 4 and one weekend. Instead, we have a 3-2 and two weekend, and we, uh, we pick up a couple of units, but we would have picked up a few more had the Miami Marlins hung on in the ninth inning. They blew a 6-2 to two lead, allowed four runs to the Braves in the ninth, lost the game in 12 innings. Just kind of ticks you off. Yeah, listen, I know the Miami Marlins bullpen is not a good one, uh, but when you play 11 innings of baseball and in those 11 innings you hold a team to three runs and you scored six but it just happens that in one particular inning you gave up four runs and it happened to be the ninth inning you get a little fired up and a little animated so I wasn't too happy yesterday with that particular loss we split overall on Sunday three and two for the weekend uh, the Cubs were the winner in baseball on Sunday talking a lot of baseball here listen on Monday it's an abbreviated card I've got a free pick coming up don't have a premium play on Monday in Major League Baseball we are involved in the NBA. It is game, what, five now in the NBA as they head back to Toronto with the Raptors leading three games to one, a chance to wrap it up. And I've got a knockout rated play between the Warriors and the Raptors, the side on Monday night. It's available 1 o'clock Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com, so be sure to check that out. By the way, we're on a 44-25 and 25 NBA Finals run and this season over the past oh, two to three months, now 43-27 and 27 with our last 70 in the NBA. Don't miss out on the Monday night knockout in NBA action. Uh, all right, let's get to it. That, by the way, that's our only play on Monday. There's no WNBA on Monday. NHL is off until Wednesday. We'll be back in action for Game 7. The Blues and the Bruins going back to Boston. So let's jump into today's information. We'll get to the free pick in a second. First, wanted to talk about uh, the NFL thumbnail sketch. And we left off last time with the Minnesota Vikings on deck. So we're going to talk about what we feel about their uh, chances are for an over-under wins total, which sits at 9 and and listen, when you look at what this team did in the draft, I'm going to get right to the draft because they did what they had to. Very first pick, they go out and they get the center out of NC State, kid named Garrett Bradbury. They had to do it. He's going to be a quality center as far as I'm concerned. They went out and they got another lineman in the offseason. I think it's going to take some time, though, to put all this youth together, this youth movement, so to speak, up front on the offensive line uh, before it begins to gel. So they're probably a season away from paying off big dividends with what they did in the offseason. If you look at the Vikings last year, and the reason they slipped was because of that offensive line. Uh, they couldn't run the football anymore. They were horrible on the ground. And even though you saw uh, Kirk Cousins uh, connect on about 70% of his passes last season, he only averaged about 10 yards per completion. One of the worst yards per completion averages in the NFL. He was under duress. He had to release his safety valves a little bit more than he had want to. So they had to go up and shore, the, shore up this offensive line. I think they did a good job in the draft in doing that, but again, it's going to take time. Uh, as far as the ground game this year, probably a little bit better than last year, but nothing great. I don't expect the passing game to go you know, through the roof as far 
as yards per completion. Uh, it won't return to what it was a couple of years ago. And I think the offense will be a little bit better, but nothing spectacular. The defense, you know how well that Viking defense has played. You know how well the defense has been as far as how many touchdowns they allow per game over the last couple of years. Once again, I think the defense is going to be solid. They could force a few more turnovers than they did a year ago where they were around middle of the pack. But I think the defense will be good. Not great, but good. And they're going to need some help from an offense that needs to control the time of possession more. I don't think they're going to get that over the first several weeks of the football season. And it will probably mean another year of the Vikings being kind of mediocre, mainly because of that offense. When you check out the schedule, they open up with the Atlanta Falcons. Vikings are a four, four and a half point favorite as I speak. Uh, but when you look at the entire schedule this year, it's not easy. I mean, they're going to have to be six and five when they go into their bye week in order to have a shot at nine wins as far as I'm concerned. And I don't think they're going to be six and five. I, I think it's a situation where this team at very best would win nine games if everything comes together up front of the offensive line. I don't think they're going to get there. I think this is an eight win team again in all likelihood. Uh, so I like the under for the Minnesota Vikings in this upcoming 2019 campaign. Again, the Vikings under nine is our play on the Minnesota Vikings. Again, that'll wrap up the NFC, uh, this particular division, the NFC North. We will be back on uh, Tuesday. Uh, we'll have our free pick available at that time. And also, we'll be jumping into the NFC South. Two more divisions to go, both in the NFC that will be done with our NFL thumbnail sketches. We'll recap all the games, all the teams uh, that we have bet when it comes to over under wins totals. We'll have that all coming up over the next week or two as we finish up the final two divisions. All right, let's get to our free pick in a second. First, a quick reminder, no premium picks in baseball on Monday. It's an abbreviated card, a lot of big prices. As far as the NBA, we are in action, and we've got a Monday night knockout between the Warriors and the Raptors. The side in that game as we look to go to 45 and 25 with our current NBA Finals run. All right, let's get to our free pick. We're going to back the St. Louis Cardinals on the road against those Miami Marlins. Hey, if their bullpen wants to give away wins, we'll jump on board with the opponent. It's going to be Waka on the mound for the Cards, Alcantara for the Miami Marlins, and I'll make it quick. We like the Cardinals, who are about a dollar thirty-five favorite. It has come up from where it opened a little bit, but we think anything under one forty-five, one forty-five or less, and we think we got some value here on the road team, the St. Louis Cardinals. So recommendation on the Cardinals. We'll look to keep winning here on the free picks report. And listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column. Right back here Tuesday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.